I'm Asha Vahabzada at CES 2019 at the Digital Health Summit Studio, and I am here with Todd Clever, a rugby legend, an elite athlete and entrepreneur, and we're here to get some insights about sleep technology. Wonderful to have you here, Todd. Thank you for having me. You were just on a fascinating session about uh, sleep score and sleep technologies. Can you tell me a little bit about the session? Yeah, no, it was amazing. I mean, it was eye-opening stuff of just, you know, DNA and sort of how the sleep goes. And then sort of I, I chirmed in with, uh, chipped in with uh, sort of lifestyle and being an elite athlete of professionals. So uh, learned a lot from them and kind of told them my perspective and, and seeing how you can uh, use a sleep app to get that extra 1% to enjoy your day, to uh, have the best performance, either it's training or playing, or if it's uh, getting over jet lag, whatever the case would be. But it was, uh, it was really informidable and, and uh, pretty, pretty awesome to be a part of. You said that 1%, and I know every athlete, every coach, they're, they're working, they're striving to get extra 1%. And when you, when you were very active in sports playing, how useful would a product like Sleep Score be for you in that situation, been for you? I'm, I'm still very active, you know. But, you know <laughs> No, um, it's uh, it, it's massive. You know, I started using it toward the tail end of my uh, my career, and you know, I noticed it. You know, I was able to wake up in the morning knowing I was going to have a good day of training, a good day at the office. You know, a good day of you know being creative. Um, so, it, you know, to get that one percent, you know, across the board for a whole rugby team, that's fifteen percent that you're getting better. That's a whole lot better than the teams, you know, excelling and and uh, and performing. We have so many different gadgets in our homes now. How easy is it to incorporate uh, sleep score technology into your schedule, into your busy schedule as an entrepreneur, as an athlete? How has it been? I, I mean, it's, it's the easiest thing I could do. I mean, I have a, I have a bedside table. I plug it in. Uh, it's on my phone. Download the app, and it'll point towards me, and it, and it rates my sleep. And I've turned it on to so many of my teammates, so many of my uh, colleagues throughout the thing, and gotten such great response to it because it's so accurate of, of all right, and it gives you tips and sort of, you know, working back with the sort of, if you want to go the extra mile, you go get your DNA, see if you're caffeine sensitive, see like when you should stop this. Um, so, I mean, it goes on and on, but, you know, really the sleep score sort of app is, is, is definitely uh, a game changer. So it's not just a number, it's giving you these real insights to help you sleep better and be better when you're awake, it sounds like. 100%. I mean, that's what everybody wants to do is be creative, uh, enjoy each day as it is, and, 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 ha and make the most of it. So uh, this definitely helps you uh, achieve all that. So when we think about young athletes out there, people who want to you know, thrive in any sport, whether it's for leisure, whether it's professionally, what would your advice to them be about their sleep or about using this type of technology? I mean, they say, they say sleep is the most underrated, you know, uh, performance enhancing thing you can do, uh, legal, you know, sort of thing. So you can actually, you know, get so much out of it. I mean, it keeps you healthy, keeps you fit, keeps you on track, keeps you focused. And when you're awake, it keeps you alert and uh, perform at your highest level. Well, it's fantastic to hear that from an elite athlete and entrepreneur such as yourself. So thank you very much, Todd, for your time. Thanks, Asha. Thank you. This is Arshiva Habzadeh at CES 2019 alongside rugby legend uh, Todd Clever at the Digital Health Summit Studio, sponsored by Living in Digital Times.